The Philippine Health Department on Monday, August 23, logs 18,332 new cases of COVID-19, breaking the record of the highest one-day tally since the pandemic began. Uh, ako si Romualdo Linares Jr., tagahin na planan, Claveria Misami Surintal. Uh, sa pagkakaroon, may man ang mga panglawas, pero ang among panginabuhian ay piktuhan tungkol kay kami mismo dili na kayo makaadto sa umahan. Tanalagsa lang, lahi sa una nga, everyday tuwagin sa umahan. Tapos gani, ako karong matukos kong uma, dili na kumuagi sa tagasang kuhan. Dili na kumuagi sa luyo. Ay, dili magod. Labi na ako ng senior citizen. 68 ako karon uh, Dapat na naaraw sa balay, pero mapugos pag yung kong buwa to sa kong umahan. Tukot kay, di sobrang ang umar, dili ni mo ma mabisitahan din ato mamonitor kung unsa nagyudagan dito ako si Mrs. Andresa Pomar taga Porok 3 sinaplanan Claveria ni Samis Oriental kay sa pag tunga sa anin ko sa pandemya kanin COVID-19 kay naapektuhan gid mi pag-ayo tungod kay lisod na ang pag adto dito sa laing lugar nga makapamaligi sa among mga produkto tungod kay mahadlok na mga nga mga takdan kita sa sakit Dayon, ang amo sa dinhe, nagpadayon mi og tanong, kaya aron po ang amo mga silingan, maka-access po sila pagpalit sa among produkto. Nga, di, dili na po sila maka sa lain nga baligyaan. Tungod kay kung dito na sa mga namaligya, mas uh, mahal na ang ilang presyo. Na among produce nga, gitanom nga string beans, na among patula, na among kwan sa una, katong pipino, amo na hindi ko ang tungod kayo ng alaya na din. Ang among bagong atan, talong, ito itong mga five fingers, na ay among luyad at ito, na po among kwan. Itong sibuyas, dahon. Muna ko na magpalit, diretso na lang din, ibot. <laughs> na muna karoon nga, mahadlok ni sa sitwasyon kay murang nagka daghan nagkadaghan na gid ang naapiktuhan sa pagkuan sa COVID-19. Twenty twenty has been a challenging year, not just for our country, but for the world. Loss of income, poverty, hunger, these are just some of the tough roads we needed to cross. The stories of these farmers and these citizens are the living testaments of the mountains that we need to conquer. Consistent with the system's mission of contributing significantly to the national development goal of food security, the USTP has innovated a haven of sustainable progress honing the optimum productivity of our small-scale farmers. I am Judy. I am Cyril. And this is the USTP Pandemic, Pandemic Farm. Farm. As a response to the present challenge of COVID-19 and in anticipation of future waves of pandemic, wherein food security is always at question, the University of Science and Technology of Southern Philippines is embarking on a project dubbed as Pandemic Farm at USTP, or Productive Agriculture for National Development Through Entrepreneurial Mindset and Innovative Culture, or Pandemic. The establishment of the USTP Pandemic Farm would provide an avenue for local household to follow as model farm to replicate as their tool for survival and sustainability. This should aggressively promote adaptive mindset to help attain household food security in all localities and various stakeholders of the university. Moreover, this initiative is a necessary strategy to encourage families who were affected by the worldwide crisis to promote adequate, accessible, 
and affordable food in their table. The current crisis highlights the vulnerabilities of our current systems, particularly distorting the food supply chain and agricultural trade. Since then, the world has been working on the challenge of the new normal facing the agriculture sector today. Therefore, it is imperative for this generation to rethink and restructure its ways and practices in a way that would suffice the pressing need of the current situation. Further, with this response, we are empowering the household to be self-reliant with regular source of food and thus prevent the country from being overwhelmed by future food crisis. And with this, we help move people beyond the cycle of continual need for emergency food assistance. Our project, Efficiency and Productivity of Food Production Systems Towards Food Resiliency Amidst Pandemic Crisis, is a component of the Pandemic Farm of Eustepi Claveria, which forms part of the COVID-19 Response Initiative of the University. So during the heights of the COVID-19 way back of June last year, we are grateful that the University were able to get funds from the Australian Center for International Agricultural Research through their Alumni Research Support Facility, or the HRERSF program, which supports the establishment of this farm. So basically, the project focuses on backyard vegetable gardening uh, with potential for adoption for both urban and rural households. So our focus is evaluating and showcasing four vegetable production systems like vertical gardening, square foot gardening, container gardening and the raised bed gardening or the hilly land gardens and the combinations of these production systems. So all this in comparison with the conventional practices of backyard gardening. So the crops we are growing are mainly pinakbit type. So we have talong, okra, polsitaw, ampalaya and squash. Our raised bed gardening are designed for sloping or hilly backyard. So for this particular production system, we are growing our leafy veggies, uh, different varieties of lettuce, pichai, cabbage, and the plant kangkong. So when we conceptualize the project, we are thinking of providing a shoe window to our Filipino households of what we can possibly do in our backyard, particularly when we are in lockdown. So especially for our uh, vulnerable sectors like the senior citizens, uh, people with comorbidities, our young individuals, uh, for everyone na binabawalang lumabas ng bahay or even for us who preferred to be staying at home amidst this pandemic. So through this project, we want to establish a model of how we can maximize our backyard, of how we can be productive if we only have a three square meter area in our backyard to produce vegetables. Our purpose is to showcase not just the typical or conventional backyard gardening, but something innovative that will not just provide a continuous supply of, of nutritious vegetables for the family, but will also provide leisure to stay away from boredom, from stress or especially depression now that we are in this pandemic. So more importantly, we want to showcase a vegetable production systems that also promote edible landscaping. As we all know, during the heights of the COVID-19, sumikat ang mga plantitas, ang mga plantitus. So, napag-isipan ng team namin that we can showcase landscaping by growing vegetables in our backyard instead na puro na lang ornamental. So, at the same time, a system of growing vegetable na kayang-kayang gawin ng bawat membro ng pamilya, either bataman or matanda. So, again, thank you very much to Asia in Canberra, Australia and Asia, Philippines for the funding support and to the University of New England in Australia who managed the implementation of this project. Also to my mentor Dr. Gordon Rogers of the Applied Horticultural Research in Australia. Uh, we are also thankful to the USTP administration through our president Dr. Butch Cultura and to the RD personnel of the USTP Claveria for the support in the implementation of this project.